Okay, here we are back with another Steiner interview. Um, this time we have Sarah O'Neill home uh, from college for winter break. Has been so kind to sit down with us and kind of talk about her career in the 2023 season. All right, how are you feeling today? Great. Great. All right, we're just going to get started. Um, I want to just recap, you know, what happened. As a freshman, you know, you lost your year to COVID. Um, but as a sophomore, you came back and your goal was to make an impact. You know, you had a, a very senior heavy laden team, but you you able to get into the lineup. You had a very productive year. Okay, so what I, my first question is, your junior year, right, you come back and now you're going to assume a much bigger role on that team. So can you just talk about how your role within the team changed from sophomore year to junior year? Um, I think we had – I think everyone – who was there um, when I was a sophomore had to step up and kind of be more like a leader, especially because um, there were so many seniors, we had to like kind of work together to be the leader instead of just like a group of seniors just taking over. Because there was only like Avery and JC. Because Cammie didn't, Cammie wasn't there. Cammie, if you're watching this, love you. All right, so your sophomore year ends. You guys make it all the way to the Central Jersey sectional final. Um, but you come up three games short of a state title. So we sort of hashtag that out for your junior year, three more games. Yeah. Right, so through your junior year, you guys are establishing yourself um, very early in the year. You know, you, you have a couple of wins that sort of elevate the team, I think, to a level higher than people thought. You do win the Central Group 3. You do get all the way to the state final. Um, but you eventually you do lose, right? Six to four. So we hashtag that junior year three more games. Um, so then we now coming back into your senior year, we hashtag it three more runs. What I want to ask you about is what was the difference of your junior year to your senior year? As the junior year, you were sort of hunting people down, right? Mm -hmm. You were that team that was on the hunt to make a name for yourself. But your senior year, you were very much more the hunted. Right, so can you explain the difference in how you have to approach that season in those games? I think um, this year, once we started playing more freely and for each other, we didn't. It doesn't. We realized it didn't necessarily matter who was coming after us, and like if anyone was coming after us, it just kind of mattered that like we went out there and we played our best. It didn't really matter who was coming after us or if anyone was coming after us. Okay. Do you think the mentality changed through the year, or do you think it took you guys a little bit of a part of the year to kind of address that and understand that? Because you know you started this off year the year, the junior no, year? your senior year, oh, okay. because you said basically you got everybody's best shot. People were trying to make their name off of beating Steiner, and so where I'm heading with that is you know because you started the year eight and four, but you finished the year thirteen and one. So I'm asking if there's like, do you think it took a little bit of time for you to adopt that mentality of it doesn't matter, as you just said. We just need to play our game. I think so. I think like for the first month, all we like all we worried about was winning. But then like af at like once the first month went by and we kind of like started to work more together, we realized that like when it like the wins will come as long as you play your best and play for each other. Great answer. I like it. Okay, so. I know you just kind of mentioned that winning is sort of a byproduct of playing for each other, right? And so I kind of want to progress on that idea that, you know, halfway through the year you were 8-4, and four, right? And you did go on to a, a very strong run at the end, and you kind of mentioned that you think that was the spark for that. But can you tell us maybe in your opinion, like, what changed that? What created that spark? What gave you guys that different energy in the second half of the season. How, how did you come to realize that winning is a byproduct of playing for each other rather and playing your best rather than just simply playing to win? Um, after the Wachung Hills game, us and the coaches all had a lo long talk. We were in that outfield for like a half hour. Like, it had to be like at least a half hour. And we all, they all basically were like, you're, like, you're all... Like, you're all so good, and by you not playing together, you're wasting it. And so that goes kind of... I think that's that in everyone's mind. Once, like, like we... Like, them not having confidence in us, that was... I think that played a big role in it. Okay, so we get to the state tournament, right? You guys are going to start running. You, you have a fairly simple game in the first round. 
you take out Allentown in the quarterfinal in a just blitz of runs and hits and you know a team that usually plays you guys really tight you know but you guys just wiped them out um I know you've said before, like, it, we don't have to get into the game because it really was everybody had a moment in that game. But can yeah. you say just what made that game versus Allentown go from being the typically two to three run, very battle tested mm-hmm. game to being the blowout? I know you I know you've said to me before what you thought it was. Um, I think well, well. I'm not sure if it was this way for everyone, but for the five seniors, we knew it was, like, the last time we would ever play at home. So, I think we wanted to go out on, like, a high note. And, well, we certainly went out with a bang, so. True. I mean, like, you can't really beat that. That's a great way to end your home career. All right, so now you're on to the semifinal of the section, right? You're going back to Colts Neck. For you five seniors, this is where your season ended as a sophomore, okay, where we came up with the hashtag three more games, mm-hmm. right, um, leading in now that led to your junior year where you get to the state final, and now we're hashtagging three more runs, so we're still on the hunt for these three more runs, right? We're trying to get back, so we go there, you guys have to be, you know, feeling some type of revenge about it or, or oh, desire about it. Okay, so can you just walk me through what you remember from that game? Well, I remember the very... First play when Abigail dove in left field and like robbed the the slapper girl. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't know her name. It's okay. But um she dove and caught her ball and I was like woohoo yeah. And then yeah. um well I remember soft when we were sophomores I hit the ball and the girl ran right through the fence the snow fence they had the snow fence they didn't have a real fence and she ran right through it. But then this year they had a real fence and it was revenge time. That was great. <laughs> so what'd you do? I hit it over the fence, still. Oh, you didn't say that, so you just said well, it was revenge. Oh, time. oh, sorry. Oh, my head so. off. I hit, it was still like the ex- wasn't it like close to the same spot? Yeah, it was. Yeah. That was good. That was that was nice revenge. All right, so now you're in the sectional final against Arville, right? Your longtime rival, but friendly rival, I'd say, right? I guess you've already lost to them twice, um, so. Katie Zilliani had really kind of controlled you guys, right? Um, yeah, she did good. In both the meetings. She did good. So can you give me an idea of what was different in this game that you guys were able to connect with her? And you connected on her early. I mean, you got up three, four runs in the first two, three innings. So can you tell me what was different about this game, or your approach to hitting in this game uh, that was different from the first two games? Well, I think overall, like from the first two, we were playing more freely. We didn't really care what people were thinking about us and then um yeah we didn't really care what people were thinking about us it didn't matter it was just at that point it was just kind of us against everybody because they always kept not picking us like the the trentonian people they never picked us they just picked the other team okay so can you tell me what you remember about that game well, I remember. I remember Mia's like diving play on the line drive, and then I remember Bianca's diving play. It was it was just a ground ball. It wasn't a line drive, but still, her Bianca's was in like the last like the last inning, right? And then Mia, Mia's was at like the beginning of the game. In the state final, you've done the really hard part. You've 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 gotten back there. You've taken three games. Three more games has become three more runs, but now you're back in the promised land. That's that's hard. It, I mean, you guys were taking everybody's best shot, as we've sort of said through the season. Everybody wanted to make their name off of beating Steiner. But now you're, you've made it. You've accomplished everything. You're back in that state final. We've talked about the feeling and the emotion of it. Okay, so now can you walk us through that last play that you know? You see the ball I'm, come off the bat. Walk us through what you was, see. It was a slapper, and it was to Mia. And I knew the second, I knew once Mia fielded it, I knew that she was going to be out. And then she was out, so... And then I remember... I, I remember I hugged Katie, and then I don't remember anything after that. Just a blur? Yeah. Of emotion, or just because you... Just so much going on, or was it just more the, the emotion of the moment? Happiness. I mean, like, it was like... It was four years in the making, and like... Look at her. Look at how pretty she is. 
Okay, so then to kind of wrap up your career now, like, can you talk to me about what it meant to you to go from, as we've kind of alluded to, you took a step farther each year. As a sophomore, you're just in the lineup, sort of doing your thing, right? You 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 don't really win the conference, you don't win the county, but you do get to the sectional final, okay? Then junior year, you win the conference, you win the county, and you go, you win the section and go to the state final. Then as a senior, you go all the way and win the entire state, right? And you become the state champion. So can you tell me what it meant? How, what about like talk about the grind? of going from three more games to three more runs to finally being state champion? I think, well, obviously it feels very good. It feels like the best feeling in the world to go out on top. Because, like, it's just, like, you want to go out. You don't want to go out losing. You want to go out being happy. And, like, well, obviously you're going to be, like, upset that it's over. It's, like, you like you shouldn't be that upset. You were just one of six groups of seniors in the entire state that went out with a win and a ring. All right, so one thing I want to do um, to highlight the 2023 season is to ask everybody um, for a moment and a game that that jumps out at them. Like if I ask you to name, so I'm going to ask you, I'm going to say name one moment from the 2023 season that jumps out at you. When you think about 2023 softball season, that's Steinard. You can't pick the state final because everybody yeah, picked the I mean, state final. Yeah. Okay, so I mean one moment that jumps out at you. What would that moment be? 100 hits. Okay. Okay, so again, if you could pick the 2023 game that stands out to you, not the state final, because everybody would pick that. But if I'm asking you to pick one game that jumps out at you that you remember, which game would that be? Head and Heights. Because, well, they have, like, they have an aura around them. They're, like, they're, like, the best. And for us to go up against the best and only lose by one, we played a really good game, but, like, just because we lost, it doesn't invalidate that we played a really good game. Okay, so I want to end by playing a little bit of word association. God, so I'm I just gonna, I'm just gonna say something, and I want you to just tell me what you think. The first thing pops into your head, right? Okay, ready? Okay. All right, softball. Winning. Coach Melker. Can I say winning again? Okay, winning. Coach Walsh. Awesome. Notre Dame. Thirteen to one, because they're always they're always the top team. It's always them, and for us to beat them on a run roll, for the first run roll ever, well, the first run roll final ever in the Mercer County tournament final. That's like, that's just, that's history, and you're only gonna get a chance to make history so many times. Colts neck. Revenge. Robbinsville. Rivalry. Steiner. State champs. 